Thank you much. Well, Florida's National Guard is on standby in case they are needed. Ada on your side's Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vasilinda has details on the heightened security and also where some technical voting issues were seen today. Despite technical issues in Lee and Lake counties, the Secretary of State says no one was denied the opportunity to cast a ballot. As polls opened, the 43 degree temperature was the coldest of the fall so far in North Florida. I wanted to get it done and over with before I head off to work. Inside, it took the first voter seven minutes to cast the first ballot. Why'd you wait till today? I just felt like uh, I didn't want to have to worry about signatures not matching if I dropped it in a mailbox or just wanted to know my vote was going to count and not have to worry about it. I always vote on election day. As of 11 a.m. this morning, 1.2 million mail ballots were still outstanding. Thousands of mail ballots were being turned in in drop boxes like this one. All right, it looks good. Security at the state elections office was beefed up, and the Secretary of State acknowledged the National Guard was on alert. Uh, and out of an abundance of caution, the Florida National Guard is activating a number of soldiers uh, who will be available to assist uh, the state standing by to assist local law enforcement and their communities as needed. One lawsuit was filed by an incumbent Hillsborough County judge who was eliminated in the primary. It is an extremely tight race. Elections experts say more suits are likely. How many depends on how close the results. Both sides are going to be looking very closely at either finding votes or unfinding votes. Um, and that's really what causes the litigation. And there have been long lines in some counties, prompting some to call that voter suppression. But any voter in line at 7 o'clock when the polls close will have the opportunity to vote. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, 8 on your side.